from FiberFlux. Welcome back to week two of the 2017 FiberFlux Holiday Crochet Along. I'm so excited that you could join me and I've been seeing some of your yarn selections and they're all equally fabulous. So we are making this beautiful tree skirt and it's a very classic granny triangle tree skirt. It has a classic scallop edging and some pretty kind of wood buttons to give it a handmade look. So this is a fun project. A lot of you requested this project. So last week we talked a little bit about the overview of the project and the supplies needed. So if you haven't seen that video yet, hop back over to week one of the crochet along and check that video out as well. Week two, this week, we're going to learn how to make each one of these granny squares stitch by stitch how to kind of change up the colors, we're going to talk about that a little bit, and also how to do the join as you go technique to connect all of our triangles together. And finally, we're going to talk a little bit about the layout, whether you want all of your triangles to be the same or you want to switch up the colors a little bit as well. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into the tutorial where we're going to start by making the granny triangle first. Okay. So for today's tutorial, you'll need a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook and a pair of scissors and your yarn. In week one of the crochet along, we went over the supplies in much greater detail. So if you missed week one, be sure to check that out if you're not sure about the uh, details of the supplies. Again, you can use any colors you like. I'm using the Red Heart with Love in the Lettuce, the Erin, and the Berry Red, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the red now, when you're making your granny triangles, we're gonna make the first full one first because we're gonna be doing the join as you go technique. We're gonna make the first granny triangle in its entirety first. And then every subsequent granny triangle around the whole parameter of the tree skirt, we will be joining on. So that last round worked, we'll be incorporating onto the tree skirt until we have a full circle, okay? Now, I'm going to make all of my granny triangles look the same, and, and by that I mean the color orders will be exactly the same for every single triangle all the way around. However, you can make them any way you like. You can mix them up, you can make them the same. It's totally up to you, and it's really fun, really, to see what we all end up doing anyway. So I'm going to start with the red, and we're going to create the center of our triangle. Now these are going to be 16 inches from the bottom point to the top. Now if you have a smaller tree, you can make your triangle smaller. If you have a very large tree and you need a larger skirt, feel free to make your triangles bigger. These triangles can be made bigger or smaller simply by working more or less rounds of the pattern. Very simple to size up. Also, next week, week three, we're going to be adding an edging onto our tree skirt. So take into account you'll, you'll add a few extra inches around the edges to accommodate that edging as well. So if you're after an exact size, just take that into consideration as well. But each one of our triangles will be 16 inches from the bottom point to the top part, okay? And we're gonna keep our scissors handy as well. So I'm gonna grab the red and we're gonna start working our triangle. Now we're using some kind of fluffy yarn here and a K hook. So this will work up pretty quickly. The first thing we wanna to do to make our triangle, again, we're making the first full one together, and then I'm gonna show you how to join the second one onto the first one, and then the third one onto the second one, and then the fourth one, and so forth. Okay, so let's put a slip knot on our hook. We can slide these colors over a little bit to begin. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop, and tighten. Next, we're going to chain four. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around your hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Now, we're gonna create a ring because our granny triangle will be worked in the round. So in the chain farthest from the hook, that first chain you made, insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, you'll have two loops on your hook. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. That's the ring that we'll be working our stitches into. We're gonna work a few rounds of each color before we switch, and I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and, whoops, and six. I wanted to add as a side note, this tail that we began with, hold that along the edge as you work, 
and that will weave the ends in as you go along as well and save you a little bit of time. Okay, so once you've done your chain six, we're going to work three double crochet into the center of the ring. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring, bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. So that's one, then two, and then three. So three double crochet, then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then once again, we're going to work three double crochets into the center of the ring. One, two, and three. Pull a little bit more yarn out of our yarn ball. I love these center pull balls of yarn. Okay, and then what we're going to do is chain three once more. One, two, three. And then this time we're just going to work two double crochets into the center of the ring. So one and two. I'm still holding that tail along the edge as I work and it's incorporating it and weaving it in as we go. So then we need to join. So what we're going to do is the six chains, remember the chain six we did at the beginning of the round? That counted as one of these double crochets plus this other space. So what we're going to do is count three chains up, one, two, three, and join there to close the round. So insert the hook into that third chain up, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the other loop on your hook. Now it looks sort of like a, a circle right now, but as we create uh, more of the triangle and add more rounds, it'll shape up into a triangle. Okay, so if you want to give that tail you wove in a little tug to sort of help close up the ring, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but the starting chain we did uh, to work the stitches into, if you prefer the magic ring or the magic loop method, please feel free to do that technique if that's what you prefer. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with the red. Now, if you want to switch colors, you can simply cut the yarn, fasten off, tie the new color into that first space you come to and then proceed. But if you wanna stick with the same color like I'm gonna do, you need to slip, we're not quite in the right spot, so you need to slip stitch over to that first space. So just insert the hook right into the space, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, and now your hook is in the right spot to continue on to round two. Okay, so again, I'm gonna stick with my red. Now, Okay, so to begin round two, what we're gonna do is chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Same thing we did before. And then in that, that first space that we're in, you're gonna work three double crochet. So one, two, and three. Then you're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna hop over to the next space that we come to. Remember that, that chain three space from the previous round? And we're gonna work three double crochet. So one, get some more yarn. Two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and work three double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to go to the next space. We're gonna chain one, and then locate that next space that you come to, and we're gonna do the same thing. Three double crochet, so one, two, three, chain three. One, two, three and three double crochet in the same space. One, two, and three. And then to separate those, we're gonna do a chain one again. Then this last space where we began the round, we're gonna do two double crochet. So one and two. And then do the same thing we did on the previous round. Count, count three chains up. One, 
two, three, insert the hook, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Now let's see what we have. We have a very, you might need to, let me remove my hook for just a second. You might need to sort of straighten things out a bit but we have a very pretty festive little triangle happening here, okay? So I'm gonna do one more round of the red and then I'm gonna show you how to switch colors after that. Okay, so let's move on to round three. Okay, so for round three, uh, if you're gonna stick with the same color like I'm doing for this round, you're gonna to wanna to slip stitch into the space. Again, if you wanna switch colors, simply cut the yarn, fasten off, tie the new color right into that space, and then you'll be in the right spot. So what you wanna do, if you're sticking with the red like I am, insert your hook right into the space, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, and then you're in the right spot to begin round three. Okay, so what you wanna do is chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then what you're gonna do in that same space is work three double crochet, one, two, three, and then chain one. And now we have a side space. So, so far we've done corners only to get us started. But now we're gonna start building some sides to our square. So this is our first side space. So the sides are just three double crochet, one, two, three, and then chain one. Now we're at a corner again. So corners are three double crochet, one, two, three, get some more yarn. chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet. So one, my yarn is just dancing all over. Two, and three, then we're gonna chain one, and now we're at a side again. So those are worked with just three double crochets. So one, two, three, and then a chain one, and now we're at a corner again. So work those the same way. Three double crochet, one, two, three, and then a chain three, one, two, three, and then a double crochet, or three double crochets rather, one, two, and three to work that corner. You can see how quickly these grow chain one, and then work three double crochets down that side. One, two, three, chain one. And now we're back where we started. So to finish off the round, we'll do the same thing we did in the last round and work two double crochets. One and two. And then we'll count one, two, three chains up, join with a slip stitch to close, okay? So now I am ready to, I like to shape these up sort of after every round that I do, trying not to pull that loop out that I just made. So now I'm ready to switch colors. I'm gonna uh, switch to the Erin, the cream color, for a couple rounds. So when you're ready to switch colors, you can just grab your scissors, cut the yarn, Fasten off, and we're gonna grab the Erin yarn. You can pull a little bit out to get yourself started here. And tie that right into, see that space where we left off? Tie that yarn right into that space. Whoops, and my piece was a little long there. You can just tie that right in. Now, moving forward, you might wanna hold your tails along the edge as you work, and that will give yourself plenty of space to um, weave those ends in. So if you hold these along the edge, you can go ahead and weave those ends in as you go. Now, we're gonna be working 
white yarn on a white background. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab something to kind of slip back here in the meantime while we're working and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I've switched up the background so you can see this white yarn really, really well. All right, I'm gonna hold those tails in as I work. So I tied the new yarn color on. Now we're gonna reach in that same corner space, bring up a loop, and now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you can go ahead and work three double crochet. One, two, it can be a little bit fiddly trying to hold those uh, tails, but just try and do the best you can. If it gives you too much trouble, you can just take your tapestry needle and weave them in later. It's no big deal. Okay, now we're gonna chain one. Now, for this round, and each round we do, we'll be adding sides. So see how we have two side spaces this time, okay? So that'll, each round will change a little bit. So remember, the sides are three double crochet, chain one. So one, two, three, chain one. We get a little bit more yarn here. Okay, now we have another side, so three double crochet, one, two, three, and our green is trying to join in, and then chain one. Now we're at a corner, so remember the corners are three double crochet, one, two, three, then a chain three. One, two, three, to establish that corner space. And then three more double crochet all in that same space. So one, two, and three. Okay, so we can see the colors. They look really nice, it's very holiday. Okay, so chain one, and then we're gonna work down the next side. So sides are three double crochet, chain one. So one, two, three, chain one, one more side, one, two, three, chain one. Now we're at another corner. So one, two, three, Okay, then chain three. One, two, three, and then three more double crochet in that corner space. So one, two, and three. Okay, so you can see how everything's sort of playing out here. Okay, so chain one, and then we're gonna come back down the other side. So three double crochet, one, two, three, chain one, next side, one, two, three, chain one. Now we're right back where we started, same thing as the other rounds. So what we're gonna do is work two double crochets in that corner space, one and two. Now count three chains up, one, two, three, Insert your hook and join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So we can get everything nice and straightened up, get those corners nice and tight, nice and sharp, rather. So here's our triangle so far. Again, if you need to uh, make a smaller tree skirt, you can stop at any time when your triangle is as big as, as you need it to be. If you wanna keep going past the 16 inches that I'll be doing, you know, keep going with that. So let's do, we're gonna do two more rounds of the cream before we switch to the green. Okay, so once again, um, I'm gonna show you one more round because it's gonna kind of repeat itself for each round. Uh, so let's just look ahead a little bit. For this triangle round, we're gonna be working into one, two, three sides this time, okay? So let's work this last round together and then we'll kind of depart and work our triangles as big as we need them to be. Again, mine will be 16 inches from the 
point to the bottom or the, the point up, whatever, however you're holding the triangle. Um, but this, this part from here on out gets a little bit more repetitive. So if you need to back up and see the previous rounds, definitely feel free to do that. But the only difference for subsequent rounds is that each one will have an extra side. So the round after that will have four sides. So this has one, two, three. The next one will have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, and so forth as your triangle grows. So let's work one more round together. And then we'll kind of depart and then come back when our triangle is nearing completion. So again, slip stitch to that first corner space where you need to be, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Work three double crochet. One, two, three, chain one. Then work three double crochet into that side space. One, two, three. Pull a little bit more yarn out if needed. I like to get a little bit extra there. Okay, so chain one. And then hop to the next side space. One, two, three, chain one, next side space, one, two, three, chain one. Okay, and then the corner space, we're gonna work three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, then work three double crochet in that same corner space. So one, two, and three. So now we have that corner. Now continue around and we have a side space. So work three double crochet, chain one, one, two, three, chain one, next side space, one, two, three, chain one, last side space of this side, one, two, three, chain one, let me get a little bit more yarn, Okay, and then we're at a corner space once again. So three double crochet, one, two, three, chain three, one, two, three, and three double crochet. One, two, three, okay? All right, go ahead and chain one, and now we're gonna work down that last side of our triangle. Looks very festive. Okay, so side space, one, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one, next side space, one, two, three, chain one. Now we're back where we started, so work two double crochet, one and two into that corner space, and now remember that chain six from the beginning of the round? Count one, two, three chains up, Join with a slip stitch to close. Okay, so like I mentioned before, you know, you wanna get your corners nice and sharp. Let's get all this, these extra yarn pieces out of the way. Get your corners nice and sharp. Now as you're working and working the stitches, sometimes the triangle wants to like come in on the sides, but each time you work your round, if you just try and pull those corners out, it'll help. 
Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with my triangle. And again, we're gonna try and get up to 16 inches on that to give us a nice large tree skirt. I am right now at about nine inches. So I'm gonna keep going and work some more rounds. Now, once again, I know I mentioned this already, but once again, you're gonna work it the same exact way, except for each round you work, we'll just have an extra side space, okay? So I'm gonna work another round of white and then switch to the green and then continue my, my color scheme pattern, okay? So keep going with your triangles as large as you'd like them to be. You can make yours eight inches, 12 inches, 16 inches. You can make them huge and have a huge tree skirt. So keep going and we're gonna rejoin and the next part of the tutorial will be finishing off this triangle. And then we're going to make the second triangle and I'm gonna show you how we will be using the join as you go technique to join that on to our tree skirt. Okay, so I went ahead and worked three rounds of each color. So I did three of the red, three of the Aran, and three of the green. So I think earlier in the video, I had said I'm gonna do the same exact color scheme, but as I was crocheting this, I decided I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do the reverse of this for the next triangle and kind of alternate. So when I start the next triangle, I'm gonna start with the green, do the same white in the center, and then do the red on the outside. So I'm gonna get started on my next triangle. However, the only difference from this first one you make, so the first one you'll make will be the finished triangle. The next one you'll make, you will go all the way up until you get to the last round, and then we're gonna learn how to do the join as you go technique. So for your next triangle, and every triangle after, work up to the very last round, and then that's the round that you'll join one of these sides onto, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my triangle, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean with the join as you go technique if you've never done this technique before. Okay, so I'm just working that last double crochet of the round, and then we're gonna join in that third chain up, same thing we've been doing with a slip stitch. Okay, so like I mentioned before, here is the first triangle we made. We made it in its entirety three rounds of each color. And then I did the same thing for this one, but I haven't done the final round yet. And that's because the final round will be joining it onto this triangle. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for this triangle and every triangle that we'll be making after this point, we're gonna be joining it into the triangle we just made, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now we're gonna work a full side before we join. So it's actually gonna be joined down this side because when we start a round, there's just a lot going on at the beginning of the round, and we don't wanna be trying to incorporate and start the round. It just makes it a little bit easier if you work that first side first. So once again, we need to get our hook in the right spot. So insert your hook into the corner space, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And working that slip stitch into that corner space like that will get your hook in the right spot. Same thing we've been doing. So again, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now let's work down this side. Now, as you can see, we have lots more side spaces. So work your three double crochet in that corner space. One, two, and three. And then we're just gonna work down the side like we've been doing all along, okay? So chain one, three double crochet in that first space. One, two, three. And we went through this all the way through in the other triangle. So we're just doing the same thing, just down this first side. So three double crochet in the next space. Chain one, three double crochet in the next space. One, two, three. And then chain one three double crochet in the next space, one, two, three, chain one. These triangles square really fast because we're using this K hook. So this is a, can be a pretty quick project if you need to get a tree skirt made for your decor. Okay, three double crochet in the next space, two, and three, get some more yarn. Chain one, 
three double crochet in the next space. One, two, and three. Chain one. Okay, so now we're at the side where we need to join, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to, see here's our corner space. We're gonna go ahead and get the corner started like we normally would. So work three double crochets into that corner space. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna join. So locate the corner space of our other triangle. It can be any point you like, it's totally up to you. And then what we're gonna do is go in from the top into that corner space, reach back, scoop up the yarn, and it's the fact that it's two different colors makes it a little bit easier to see. Reach back, scoop up the yarn, bring it through. You'll have two loops on your hook. Bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And now if you need to turn your work, that's fine too. So go ahead and turn the work, and then Let's see, where did our yarn run off to? There it is. Okay, now you're gonna work three double crochets in that corner space to finish off the corner. So one, two, and three, okay? So you can see it's joined. You might need to fiddle with it a little bit to see. Okay, so now we're ready to come down the other side with our joins. So what we're gonna do, instead of doing a chain one, like we did on regular sides, what we're gonna do is hop over to our other triangle, this green one, and go in between the space of these other two uh, groups of double crochets. Go in from the top, reach back, scoop up the yarn. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, now we're joined on that side. And then you can work your three double crochets in the next spot where you normally would. So one, two, and three, okay? Now we're ready to join again. So in lieu of making that chain one that we normally would, we're gonna locate the next spot where we want our triangle joined. So here's the next space. Now see, if you, if you kind of lose your spot, which can sometimes happen, it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes, especially if you've never done this, is to, hold on, let me just fix that corner there, just make sure it matches. See how my group here is mirroring the group up here? Just make sure it matches and everything's kind of lining up as you're joining. Okay, so here's our next space. Come in from the top, reach back with your hook, bring up that yarn, now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. We're just doing like a slip stitch join, okay? And it's very kind of um, low profile, um, not really heavily stitchy looking. It just kind of sits up against it, which I really love. Okay, work your three double crochets into the next space. So one, two, and three. Hop to that next space in your green triangle or whatever color triangle yours is. Go in from the top, reach back, scoop up that yarn, bring the loop through the loop already on your hook, and we're moving right along. Work your three double crochets where you normally would in your triangle. One, two, whoops, grab an extra loop there. Two, and three. All right, let me get a little bit more yarn and get ourselves all laid back out flat. It's really helpful. I like when I'm joining as I go, I like to lay it flat either on my lap or on a table or something. It really helps me see where everything's kind of coming together. And actually, because my yarn is over here, I'm gonna move my yarn. Okay, let's do our next join. Locate this right spot in your triangle. Make sure everything's mirroring. And then you're ready to work your three double crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. Do your next join, reach back with your hook, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Work your three double crochets. One, whoops, two, and three. Hop back over to your other triangle, 
Reach back into that space, pull up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. We are almost towards the end of this side here where our join is. Work your three double crochets. And I really love granny projects for the holidays. They look so kind of nostalgic and traditional. They're really pretty addition. Okay, so reach back into that space, bring up a loop. Let me slide things over a bit so you can see better. Bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And we're getting towards the end here. I'm gonna show you how to deal with that as well. So three double crochet, one, two, and three and reach back into that next space, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so now let's get everything all straightened out a little bit. You can see our triangles are right here and we're at a corner again. So what we're gonna do is get the corner started like we normally would. Now see, we just made our join, so work three double crochets into that corner space, one, two, and three. Now grab that other triangle, go in, front, go in from the top, bring up your loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, and then you can turn your work a little bit, and then you can finish off that corner. So one, two, and three, okay? So now we can continue down the other side and see we only have one more side left till we get to where we began. So what we can do is just work that side the same way we did prior. There's no joins on this side, so we're just gonna work it the same way. Now remember, when you're not making a join on a side, we're gonna put that chain one in between, okay? So three double crochet, chain one down this side. One, two, three chain one, one, two, three, chain one, one, whoops, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one, one, whoops, two, three, chain one, last space there, one, two, three, chain one, and now we're back where we started. So once again, work your two double crochets into that corner space, one and two, join in the third chain up, one, two, three, join that with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So now we are finished our triangle. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the yarn and fasten off, and then let's look at what we've done. Let's get all these strands of yarn. When you're working with multiple colors, it's easy to have lots of stuff floating around. Okay, so now we have two, and let's get that a little bit straightened out here. I might need to flatten it out a little bit. We have our two triangles, and as you can see, we're already starting. Now see how they point in at the top? This is gonna be our center. And as you can see, if you slide this down, we're starting to get a nice rounded shape, and that rounded shape is gonna continue all the way around our tree skirt. So what you're gonna do from this point forward is create more and more triangles. So you're gonna keep adding triangles onto your project, joining as you go, and I'm gonna alternate. So my next triangle is gonna be, uh, it's gonna start with the red, and I'm gonna add it onto here. So we're just gonna keep going all the way around. Now, don't laugh, but I made a little diagram. <laughs> I took a piece of paper. So basically what we're gonna do is we started with one triangle. We're gonna add another triangle, add more triangles, more triangles, more triangles. But when we get to the end, we're not gonna join those last two. And I'm gonna show you, you know, the end of this project 
uh, in a bit, but um, we're not going to join that. And that's because when you put it under your tree, you need that opening. Like, let's say, let's slide this out of the way. Let's say this is our tree. You need to be able to wrap it around the tree, you know, like so when it sits there. So we're going to not join that last. So you have an opening there. Okay. So don't mind my little diagram here, but I thought it would be a little bit helpful to see. So this week, let's keep joining triangles until we get a circle. And then next week, I'm going to show you how to finish off your tree skirt. If you want to add some optional buttons to kind of button it together, uh, sometimes with my personal tree skirt at home, I just kind of lay it on there. But if you want to add some buttons, I'll show you how to do that as well. We're also going to add an edging. So this week, just continue adding your triangles all the way around. And then what we'll do next week is do some finish work. I'm going to show you how to do an edge optional buttons, etc. Okay. So that is the triangle join as you go portion of our crochet along. Now I wanted to mention before we uh, break to work on our tree skirts is that um, to hop over. If you haven't joined our Ravelry group yet, please hop over and join the Ravelry group. Everybody's sharing their work. You can ask questions. You can get questions answered. There are so many helpful people in there that are so willing and wonderful and able to hop over and answer people's questions. And I answer questions um, as frequently as I'm able to as well. But it's also an opportunity for you to show off your work, show your work in progress. If you get stuck, you can ask questions. But for now, let's just keep making triangles and joining them on until we have a big, beautiful circle. So again, next week, we're going to add a, a nice, simple, pretty edge to our project. And we're also, whoops, we're also going to, uh, if you want to add an optional button just to secure your tree skirt closed, that's okay too. So we will, we will do that uh, part as well. So happy crocheting this week. Enjoy your project. Holiday crocheting is my favorite kind of crocheting. And we will see you next week for part three of our crochet along. Bye everyone.